What's going on guys? Well, today I'm doing an update on Gus. I mean, he's doing okay, but he's not doing okay. Uh, he's got a lot of stuff going on right now. It's just really unfortunate timing. Um, I don't even know where to start. The big thing uh, that's going on with him right now is he has a cancerous tumor in his back right thigh. Um, I noticed a little lump about maybe a month ago, a month and a half ago. And, uh, you know, I thought maybe he got a bug bite or something, but I was really just kind of checking it every day and I ended up taking him to the uh, vet to have it looked at. And they did a, you know, a little plug and looked at it under a slide, you know, took a little sample of it and uh, found out that it is a uh, cancerous tumor. So, of course, that has to be removed. He actually had surgery planned, uh, I think it was yesterday. Or no, today. Uh, it depends, I guess, when I post the video. But because of the virus going around, uh, that was postponed to next month. You know, hopefully things calm down a little bit and get that surgery. He needs a lumpectomy. A lumpectomy is just how it sounds. He has a lump. It has to come out. So uh, it's deep enough into his tissue where it has to actually, you know, be removed. Uh, it's not something you can do with, uh, you know local anesthesia or anything it has to be uh, you know put under some gas and you know, he has to be asleep for the whole thing because it's deeper in his leg so of course I mean this was you know horrible news but you know apparently it's somewhat of a common thing uh, especially dogs when they get older and stuff you know it's just the reality of it you know Christine and I are obviously very concerned about it and and uh, you know so we're gonna do it as soon as possible you know, he's scheduled to do it next month now, so hopefully, like I said, things will get a little bit better and be able to get that surgery done. Besides that, and that I mean, that's that's the biggest thing that's going on, but uh, uh, he had, um, he had took, he took a fall. He was jumping off a couch onto the ottoman, which has rollers on it, and it rolled out of the way, and he fell on his side. I saw it happen, tried to grab it in time, but it wasn't fast enough, uh, and he fell on his side, and he's had a limp. For a couple days now and i'm hoping it's just sore i mean he's moving on enough where nothing's broken but he definitely definitely hurt himself so that's very unfortunate as well and on top of that he has allergies because the weather doesn't know what to do it's cold it's hot it's cold it's hot i mean today it's beautiful i'm outside right now it's probably i don't know 57 degrees 58 degrees sun's out you know the trees are trying to blossom and then we get snow we get 20 degree weather so that's kind of weird but yeah allergies are affecting a lot of people and animals so Gus has been huffing and puffing and snorting and you know dealing with allergies on top of everything else and he also has a little bit of blood in his stool now the blood that's in his stool is bright red blood so more than likely it's hard to see I can't really pry him open or anything to take a look but I feel like that is more than likely a little cut or something that's on his colon but boy oh boy is he going through it right now I just feel so bad, you know, he's my baby, he's my world. This is my child, right now. And I love him to death, you know, and I want him to be comfortable and happy. But, uh, and he's standing there wondering what I'm doing, because I set up the camera. It's okay, Gus, you can sit down. You can sit down if you want. He's like, I don't know. He's, he's ready, in case I'm walking around, he wants to follow me. Anyway, there's a lot of stuff going on, and, uh, it's just, like I said, it's just really bad timing, and normally he would just be right back to the vet. He would have had a surgery done by now, and had the other things checked out. But we have to wait. We have to wait until society gets back to normal for that stuff. Um, it's just hard. Gus has uh, medicated food. Uh, luckily, I had the forethought to order extra food, because uh, he can't just run in the store to get it. He has to get it from a pharmacy. So, I ordered that as well as uh, a couple months worth of his medication ahead of time. Did that about three weeks ago. I first kind of heard everything getting serious. So, luckily, he has that kind of stuff. Uh, it's just hard. It's hard for people to get things like that right now. But anyway, I just want to give you guys an update. It's not a big depressing thing. This is life. Things happen. We're going to get through it. But I did want to give you an update on that. When he does get his surgery, of course, I'll let everyone know how it went. Uh, it should be pretty straightforward. You know, like I said, put him down for a little bit, uh, make an incision in the back of his thigh, take out all the tissue. It is a lump, and uh, they do a biopsy afterwards. But there's a lot that goes into that, so we'll see how it goes.
anyway that's it as if your you know day couldn't get any more depressing <laughs> with everything that's going on Gus is going through some hard times but like I said best thing you possibly do is just stay positive right right Gus that's what you gotta do stay positive sometimes it's really hard to do anyway that's it for now guys just want to give you an update on Gus like I said in the future as things get taken care of I'll certainly give you another update but uh, it's hard it's hard for people and it's even harder for animals and the animals are freaking out because everyone's home 24 7 they don't know what's going on so keep that in mind your your pets are probably stressed out just like we are but anyway that's it for now i'll see you guys tomorrow with a brand new video take care